Uh, President Biden says he's relying on cooperation from the Taliban to evacuate Americans safely out of Afghanistan by next week. And we know the problems with that. This is the Taliban is now blocking Afghans' only way out by no longer allowing them access to Kabul's airport, let alone the Americans that can't get out. Our next guest was part of the Taliban negotiations on the President Trump and has lessons to share. It's his story is on FoxNews.com right now. Adam Bowler, uh, welcome back. Adam, what did you learn sitting across from the Taliban? Uh, that perhaps we would never know unless you stare them, stare them like you did. I mean, I think at the end of the day, the Taliban are a regional militia. Um, and so on the positive side, uh, you can directly deal with them. Um, if you make a deal with them, they'll generally stick to it. But the big if here is they're a regional militia. So regional militia in that region responds to force. And so when I was negotiating them and discussing with them, they knew that I had the full force of the U.S. Army behind me. Uh, so that's very important. Uh, there needs to be an accountability mechanism because that's what carries weight in this region. So what went wrong with the, what would be different about the plan that you and Ambassador Khalizad and President Trump and Mike Pompeo were signing off on as opposed to the one Joe Biden is executing? I think what's really bipartisan here is the fact that we can't be in Afghanistan 10, 20 years. Um, that didn't serve us. I don't think that was the right answer. So that is bipartisan between every, each approach. The difference here is execution. Um, and there's a difference between leading uh, and e exiting on your terms and exiting with your tail between your legs. And that, that's a very big difference here because it's putting lives at risk. Well, the other thing I would say is were you, were you signing off on getting out of Bagram Air Base? Uh, that was not part of the negotiations at any point. Would you have Not left Bagram Air Base uh, while American citizens were still there? I don't believe we should leave Bagram Air, Air Base while American citizens are still there. Uh, so did the Taliban break what would be the agreement by taking the government? Wasn't it supposed to be a coalition government? That's exactly how we were negotiating. Um, and so it's a key difference here. I mean, if you look at the document and what we said, the idea was we're not going to have a permanent presence in Afghanistan with you know, thousands of troops, but it was based on coalition government. Um, and so that's a really important aspect, not a unilateral withdrawal you know, within days with our tail between our legs. So when, we, when this happened and, and the Taliban took Kabul, everyone seems to be surprised that it went so quick. Were you? No, because the intelligence agencies were very clear that that could happen, and that was a very likely scenario. So they let you know that when you were negotiating with them? A hundred percent. We knew the power dynamic there, um, and you had a very motivated Taliban army. I mean, at the end of the day, the Taliban's mission is very clear. Get the United States out of Afghanistan and retake the, the country. That was a very clear and stated mission. And our mission there had to be, well, no, if you're going to do this, it has to be in a shared government. Um, and if we're going to exit, we're going to exit the right way and we're going to take care of our people. So that's the, you know, that's the counter uh, to what they wanted and that's where the d discussion lied. Yeah, we have so much more to discuss. We'll hopefully have you back maybe even tomorrow, but more details on what it was like uh, cutting the deal Trump style uh, back in 2020. And it's on foxnews.com. Uh, thanks, Adam. It's just horrible for all of yeah. us to watch, especially you, because you knew how different it would have been if you had That's a, right. a shot It at didn't it. have to be like this. It doesn't. And, and still, the decision yesterday was probably his worst. Adam, thank you.